Yo my people them, CFC, Redis Blue, back with another video, match preview settings man, and it's the match preview for the Chelsea and Aston Villa game in the Premier League tomorrow, kickoff is at 1.30, but during my watch long from 12.30, and we can discuss the team news, can get my reaction as the game goes on, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and let me know your score predictions in the comments, the wins will get a shout out in the review, and just thank you for your support. Obviously, going to go through team news slash injury news, some stats or head-to-head -head stats, as well as my predicted XI and the score prediction. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and thank you for your support. But now let's get into the preview. I'm going to start off with the injury slash team news. And yeah, man, Reese James, he's the only injury that we have. He's the only player who will definitely not be participating tomorrow. So, speed recovery to Reese. He won't be back until after December, in my opinion. I've already done a video on that earlier in the week, so feel free to check that out. But yeah, he is the only injury that we have. Everyone else is fit, man, which is brilliant. Also, Pedro Neto and Malo Gusto, they are in the squad. They have been training for the last couple of days, so I expect them to be starting tomorrow, in my opinion. But yeah, that's the injury slash team news. Now, I'm going to move over to some head-to-head -head stats and look at this head-to-head -head record between Chelsea and Aston Villa through the history so we have won 69 times Aston Villa have won 60 times we have a plus nine win record against them that's brilliant and then in our last three games in all competitions we drew with them 2-2 at Stamford Bridge last season we beat them 3-1 at Villa Park in the FA Cup and we drew with them 0-0 at Stamford Bridge in the FA Cup. So, yeah, man, we have not lost to them in our last three, which is very good because these guys have won here and was winning a lot. I think they did the double over us in the 22-23 season. So, yeah, man, glad to know that we've been winning our last three games. And to be honest, even in the Premier League table, Aston Villa, they're not doing as well as I expect them to do. They're like ninth or 10th right now, which is below par that I thought that they would be. But they have about 19 points, so they're three points behind us in the Premier League table. So we have to win this game, must win, so that we can have some distance between us and the chase and pack for top four, especially with the fact that Brighton drew their game yesterday, so now they're a point above us. So it's a must win. And with Liverpool taking on Manchester City this weekend, yeah, man, we can have we could potentially have Manchester City drop points and we could potentially go above them if we don't even lose our game. But we have to win. These are the games that we must go on a run because after, like I said in the Leicester preview, we have to start a win streak. Win streaks will just garner more points ahead of the other teams easily. And... A team like Villa, it's not going to be an easy game. But we can, we have shown that we can go against top teams and do very well. Man City, Liverpool, Man United and Arsenal. So we have shown that this season, even being a team like Brighton, who are second in the Premier League table as things stand right now. So, hey man, hopefully the man them gets to do the job. And obviously that was the head-to-head -head and last three games. The form guide, as you can see, we have won two out of our last five Premier League games. We have drawn two and lost once, whereas Aston Villa, they have lost twice, drawn twice and only won once. It's not a good record for them. We are having a lot more positive results. And we just overall this season have been playing a lot better than Aston Villa, hence why we are higher than them in the Premier League. This is an important factor. This is important. And I just hope that the man them Go out there tomorrow and get the job done. We haven't been winning too many games at home, so we have to have, we must have a dominant performance or at least a win at Stamford Bridge because we've been winning more away from home than we have at home. So I hope that our home form, hey man, it takes a positive turn and we get three points at Stamford Bridge tomorrow. But yeah, that's just some head to head stats. You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Now, I'm going to move on to. My predicted XI, and my doing the predicted XI a little, a little different, as you can see. Philip Jorgensen in goal, 
right back Malo Gusto, centre backs um Levi Cole as Wesley as well as Wesley Fofano, left back Mark Cucurello, CDMs Romeo Lavio, Moises Caicedo, on the left want to go with Pedro Neto, on the right going to go with Noni Madweki, Cam Cole Palmer, striker Nicholas Jackson, and if you're going to see this predicted side, you'll be thinking, oh, it's kind of harsh that we just dropped Enzo after his goal and assist last week. And I do agree that it would be harsh to drop Enzo. But as Maresco always states, different teams equal different personnel. Romeo Lavio didn't play 90 minutes in the last game, but he did come off the bench. He has been having at least a week to rest. So I do believe that he will take his place back just because defensively it's a lot more solidified and it kind of gets a team like Aston Villa who can score a lot of goals. You have guys like Ollie Watkins, Leon Bailey, John Duran who can do things. So it's like we have to be protected, have to be, especially in that midfield. And that's why these two in the midfield is the biggest thing for us. And we must start them because if we don't, we could allow Aston Villa to just bully us because we cannot forget that they have a strong, strong midfield with that Andre Onana guy. So, hey man, hopefully, I'm expecting this to be the CDM roles, but you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions. Do you want Moises Caicedo and Romeo Lavio both to start together? Let me know down below. But yeah, man, that's the CDM roles. In terms of on the left, on the right, people would want us to drop Noni Madweki. But I'm still going to give him one more chance. He has to do something in this game or else it's going to be going to be curtains most likely because Pedro Neto had, has been having a great performance this season. Jaden Sancho had a good performance in the Conference League and overall this season he has been doing very well. So he, we have to, not only my work, he has to take his opportunity. Even a guy like Mikhail Woodrick has been doing his thing in most recent times. So, hey man, the wingers... There's no guaranteed wingers right now, but hey man, we can go a long way in solidifying those winger roles if we have a good performance. But Noni Madweki has to step it up because time is ticking and he could potentially lose his place if he doesn't have a good performance in this game. So that's just my thoughts and opinions on that. We already know Nico's going to start, Cole's going to start. Those positions are undisputed. The defensive roles are undisputed and... Realistically, the only thing people are going to be talking about is should Jurgensen get a chance? I'm going to go with Robert Sanchez as man's goalkeeper just because he's been the most consistent player in goal and we're third in the Premier League going into this weekend. Like, There's no reason, big reason for us to drop him right now. I know Jurgensen had an outstanding performance, hence why I gave him man the match in my player ratings for the game against um in the game against Heidenheim in the Conference League, but that's the conference league. This is the Prem. And yeah, man, I just hope you I just hope Sanchez doesn't make any clumsy mistakes. I just be real. Hope he doesn't. But yeah, man, that's just my predicted excite. You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions. Do you agree with it? Let me know down below. And now it's obviously time to talk about man's score prediction. And my score prediction to go into this game. Yeah, man. I'm gonna go with a 2-1 Chelsea win. I don't think it'll be a very, very comfortable game. Aston Villa are one of the top teams in the country. They have been doing well. They have a great manager in Unai Emery. Strong side. We just better hope that come tomorrow at 1.30pm, Stamford Bridge, the fans are loud. The atmosphere is great because the players are going to need that and the players need to put on a great performance or just get the W at the bare minimum because... We need to get top four this season. That is the main thing. And we can potentially go two games, win streak, five on beating in the Premier League. So that's up there as well. So hope the man them get the job done. I will be doing the watch along. So stay tuned for that tomorrow at 12.30. But yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions, your score predictions down below. Thank you for your support on the match preview. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy your Saturday. And as always... Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea. In a bit, my people done. Love.